I am in love with a wisteria. I say wisteria because it is what I know to say that can conjure an image for some of you, though the truth takes much more to get to. Besides, the truest names of things often vine toward and away from us, spiraling against a backdrop of cloud-scattered sky. In this case, etymology only gets us so far, thanks to the taxonomic practices of Thomas Nuttall and the like. And here is a footnote. In his genera of North American plants and a catalog of the species, botanist Thomas Nuttall named the plant after a colleague, Casper Wister in 1817, which is how we have the current name Wisteria. The first names of Wisteria are not now commonly used which is to say they are alive but held close to the hearts of those who keep and honor such things despite attempted erasures and the violence of colonial self-importance. For my purposes here then, I will call upon what I know of true naming in order to bring the life of this sweet flowering vine into your consciousness so that we might delight in some of her ways. We'll call her delight for a start a proud bearer of draping scent. And what of her many arms waited in spring with clustering possibility? Do we know how to name a twining heart, clambering for recognition, for the right slant of light? I do know this, I am transplanted again and again, my roots air clung during each migration, remembering the many names I have for home. And in every garden, delight. I begin in the earth and twist toward the sun, that ancestral warmth, an orb of pulsing vision, like wisteria, with wisteria, we are hand in hand, spiraling. In some lifetimes, at least, I am avian, once a pelican, eyes drinking the glittering sea, my throat a pocket of foam and flotsam. I glide through keyhole arches, tuck my knees and skim the salt mist of rolling waves, wings glazed in orange sunset. In another, I'm a flitting bower bird, an architect of tending. I gather neat geometries and moments of color, arranging patterns in the name of love and order. I preen and post my signs, then wait. In this, I am most patient, tasting small breezes for the tenderest of movements. We are speaking of the language of recognition.